I am a senior math major and honor student. Um, I also play lacrosse and practice was canceled this morning um, due to some weather. Um, I'm actually running a little bit late for class because I slept a little bit too late because of um, practice being canceled. So we're on our way to class right now. Okay, so now I'm at honors. It's my first class of the morning. It's like a two and a half ish hour class. We get a 10 minute break, um, like two thirds of the way through class. And honors is a great books program. So we start at the beginning of time. We go through the end of modern time, which is now. Um, and um, we just talk about the big ideas and how those relate to our world today and how thought has sort of developed through time. And today we're reading Daniel and Revelation, which is super cool. So we're on break right now, and I am, we're outside with my professors. This is Dr. Joke and Dr. Peach. What would you say to somebody who doesn't feel like they're qualified or ready, but wants, like is interested in the honors program, but doesn't feel like they can do it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I think in some ways, to cultivate reading skills, to read for fun, like you have to enjoy reading. And that's maybe not something that you can just invent inside your soul in a moment. But I think reading itself, you can get kind of something going by just reading begets more reading. I mean, I think that that's, that's one way to start that journey. Yeah. I think it's more than that, though. I think you have to love reading, but be willing to be kind of transparent with a novel, with a text. It's, I've found that as you read it, they take on a different life and you have to talk, with, talk about it with other people. Mm -hmm. That forces a kind of viewing in of your own heart that's different than like when I just read for fun. Sure. Yeah, there's a vulnerability, I think. That's a part of it too. I mean, you only get out of discussions and engagement with books and people what you put into it and that, that requires a sharing of your actual self. What are the things you value about the honors program? What's like the, your like the best part of being a part of honors? I value the living engagement around the text. I mean, I think, I think there, are so, there have been so many cases where I do a reading, and I may enjoy the reading or not, but I like it more after we discuss it. When that happens, I think to myself, ah, like this is why we talk together. Yeah, I agree. There is this living kind of spont spontaneity that you can't, you can't recreate with like a formal lecture. You can't recreate if we have like bulleted talking points. I've just appreciated uh, being on the hook to read great books. You know, it's it's embarrassing that I've never read Martin Luther King before, right? Like that's something that everybody should read and you just don't, we're all so busy, but having to do it is something that I'll always cherish because it's just amazing. The stuff you learn about yourself, about our world, you know, it's, it's priceless. Now we're gonna go back to class and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. my honors seminar class um, and now I'm going to senior seminar which is a math major only like career planning class um, and we just like talk about our career and go over resumes and do like interview prep it's a pretty fun class we just sort of hang out and um, start planning what this next phase of our life will look like Okay, so now we're in Lemons where I have my next class. And it's kind of boring, but it's good um, to just talk about like professional life and the things that we're um, going to have to do as we start our professional careers, like applying to graduate school or, you know, having interviews, submitting a resume, applying for jobs, and sort of the best practices um, as you do that in order to be the most successful. finished my senior seminar class and it was super cool today. There was an actuary that came and visited who works um, for a health insurance company and just sort of talked about the process of becoming an actuary and what he does in his job, um, which is super cool to me because I love um, learning about health insurance and um, I hope to work in health insurance and in the consulting realm. So it was super interesting. Um, and now I'm actually going to work um, and uh, I work at the IT service desk at Fox and so I answer the phone, um, help people with their technical problems um, in whatever capacity that may be. Um, and then after um, I go to work, then I have another class, um, linear algebra, and then right after that I go to ASL. 
All right, so now I'm going to work. Come with me. I, when I came to Fox, I was actually wanting to become a doctor. Um, and with that, I just wanted to make sure that I was a really um, well-rounded person. I felt like looking at my course load and like the things that I would need to do to, be, to reach that path, it would be really easy for me to box myself in into just doing science or just learning um, in my classes and not really having any um, sort of outside knowledge. Um, and so the honors program to me seemed like a really good place to kind of gain that like fuller perspective on learning. And it's something that I really come to appreciate my um, ability to think about kind of complex ethical and moral problems and sort of the questions that arise there. Um, so um, it's been really cool in the honors program just having that opportunity to um, sort of expand my knowledge base. So I'm at work and I get to eat lunch which is super exciting. I'll see you later. Everybody's like, Perry, Piper, Perry, Pi Piper. Yeah, wow. it's my whole life. I just respond. <laughs> it's fun to have students work here because you get to see them change. Yeah. And Holly's definitely, I'm, Holly. <laughs> Holly and, oh. <laughs> now I'm gonna keep doing that. Yeah, so Perry, Perry had started working for, for us when she was a freshman. And then um, she left us for a little bit, came back, totally different person, totally mature. So it's fun to see that progression of students and how they mature and change and what they're like when they grow. And like I said, she is my detail-oriented person. I saved those jobs for her because she does them the best. Thank you, service desk. My name is Perry. Can I get your name, please? The one thing I love is she'll take a call and all of a sudden she'll turn and look at me. And then she like talks a little louder and she goes, Oh, so you're doing this and this, and then she repeats what they say, and so I can help her without her even having to put them on hold or anything. She's got it down. We can't let her graduate. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Okay, so right now we are going to ASL class, and um, super exciting, and we love ASL, Woo! so we've been in class together now for like three semesters, so we're going to go ahead into ASL now. started learning ASL in high school um, and I wanted to continue learning. Um, it's a beautiful language. It's fun to learn. The culture is um, just amazing. It's, um, it's really uh, um, united and um, accepting can't remember the sign for that right now, um, but yeah, it's really fun learning ASL. Your favorite thing mm -hmm. about me, favorite thing about me. Um, so, you guys followed me throughout my day, so we went to class, went to work, um, and now I'm at home. So I live off campus, which is super nice, because um, when I'm done with school, I get to kind of go home and take a break from campus and recharge a little bit. So yeah, now I'm going to go uh, eat some dinner, probably go to bed, because it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. 
so yeah thanks for following me around today and um see you guys later hi